Hey guys, it's your boy Creepers, and welcome to the 2016 January Transfer no, Target video oh, for Liverpool oh, FC. Now, what do we need in this window? Well, we need a goalkeeper because the two we have are terrible. We need Cerex because the ones we have aren't good enough and or aren't exactly in good form. Hmm? We need a defensive midfield because we're l hacking in that uh, department. And we need a striker who is going to bag us enough goals to get top four. Because right now, oh, the best we have is Christian Benteke. And that isn't good enough because he does not fit our style and will not bag us enough goals. Especially if he keeps sh meh, squandering in in chances any striker worth their sod would score. Her, her. So, let's look. I'm going to be looking through who, players who've been linked with Liverpool. There are a few here who haven't been linked with Liverpool who I think Liverpool should look at. That's so if... Anyone from Liverpool is watching this, make sure you you show this to Jurgen Klopp. Unless, by chance, you are Jurgen Klopp. Which would be fantastic. But I'm not going to count myself getting very lucky with that. Now, there is one possible confirmed transfer. I did look for the guy. Then I realized he is not on this game. <laughs> it's that, um, Grudich guy. He, he... Probably for the best that I didn't talk about him because I don't know who he is. Never even heard of him. Mm. 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 Apparently he's meant to be really good. We'll see. Let's talk about the players we can talk about. Let's start with the goalkeepers and let's start with Leno. Now, it w you'd say makes sense. A decent goalkeeper for... He go, we didn't go. Oh, sturdy. He very he good. Gets a lot. Gets a good few clean sheets for Bayer Leverkusen, and helped them, re really helped them get that top four finish their last season. And no doubt, if they do make top four or this season, and unless we sign him up beforehand, he will have a big part to have played in it. It, and has definitely. They done a lot for him this season, and, and I definitely think it's a good it shout or a German goalkeeper. Or it wouldn't make sense that we're gonna look at a German players based in Germany, considering Klopp is our manager. It would make sense to think that's where we're gonna go. Oh, well, Leno is a re he solid, good young keeper. Or three years younger than Minley. He, he. In his ver, he's solid. Would be a good shout. Would, would if we can get him. Next is Jack Butland. Another good keeper. Ver, he's solid in the Premier League. So this season has gotten a lot of clean sheets for Stoke. Oak, Oak, and has been very solid. Even when he hasn't gotten a clean sheet, he's made tons and tons of saves. He's, he's. Everyone is saying if you made the team of the season right now, Jack Butlin would be the goalkeeper. And you could not argue with that. He is amazing in goal for Stoke. So oh, his knowledge of the Premier League and the fact that he's doing it already with a team like Stoke would he make him a really good shout. And well, no no keeper here is worse than Minionly. I don't think there's a keeper alive. That's worse than Mini Lee, and I except maybe Pug and, and Reyna, but that's that's not. We're not talking about those players. Jack Bolton probably gonna cost a lot of money considering it's Stoke. They're not gonna be too keen on selling him, but you know I definitely think we could strike up a deal, or or and get the Englishman in if that's who 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 we decide to go for. Next is Steve Mandanda. He's been linked as of late he he very solid keeper ever he well known in France he's been the Marseille keeper for a few years now oh was very solid hit very good 
it in goal. It was always he's tough to be. He he when I play up against Marseille in career modes, it's very slow. Head keep. Or, or, or is the oldest keeper on this list? But at 30 years old, can get at least 10 more years out of him, him depending. And, and, and he's a very solid keeper. Or his contract is up, according to FIFA, at the end of this season. I don't know if that's true in real life. Because this game just makes up whatever shit it feels like. And doesn't give a rat's ass whether you agree or not. So if, he, if his contract is up and if, you know... We could easily get him for cheaper, or we could sign him up on a pre-contract agreement. It would be better if we get him in now, because, you know, you know, top four. We need a top-class goalkeeper to get top four, and Minule isn't going to get us top four, because he's going to fuck up a lot more, and that will fuck us up. up. Next is Musalera of Galatasaray, another hurt. Senior goalkeeper compared to the other choices on this list, him and Mandanda, both in the latter stages of their career, to say the least. Uh, 29 years old, old. Well, a very another very solid keeper when I come up against him in career modes, which isn't very often. I don't normally get drawn against Galatasaray. I might get him in a group stage, if that. At so, don't. Always come up against Galatasaray, but when I do muscle air, it's very hard to beat. He's, and I've done a few career modes as Galatasaray, so I know he is very sturdy in goal oh, oh, as well. And the last as the goalkeeper is Ter Stegen of Barcelona. This one, I don't understand. Why would he want to leave Barcelona? Now, the others, like... Money could be a, a motivator, but Ter Stegen is relatively new at Barcelona. I mean, of all those, all of all the other keepers, but Butlin is probably the one who's newest at the club he's at. Mandana has been at Marseille for years. Musilera has been at Galatasaray for years, and Leno's been at at uh, Leverkusen for years. But Butlin's only been at Stoke. Since 2012, of or 2013, I'm not even sure. I think it's 2013 when the, yeah, it was 2013, and they signed him from uh from Birmingham. But Ter Stegen only joined Barcelona last season, last summer, or in the 2014 summer window, and you know he is going to be one of the best keepers in the world when he reaches his full potential. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's he's currently competing with uh with uh Bravo for number one goalkeeper, but as soon as Ter Stegen gets that number one spot, he will not lose it. Bravo is a good keeper, but I can't see Barcelona choosing the older keeper over the younger keeper for much longer. I mean, you know, Bravo, he's good. He he still has a good few years and maybe five to ten years still left in him, and and. But Ter Stegen will definitely be their number one choice eventually. He that's why they signed him. He very he's solid keeper. Or or, or signed from Borussia Mönchengladbach, of course. There's by uh, Barcelona. I you know I guess if we offer enough money, Barcelona might be willing to do this deal. I I, I can't see it. It's probably the least likely. Of all those goalkeepers, and it's considering about a month ago, who who Klopp said he didn't even want to sign a goalkeeper, but I think he has changed his mind definitely because it's coming out more and more that he's going to be signing a goalkeeper. Or especially, like I said, Mandanda has been linked to it as a, most recently. He he he, Musler wasn't that recent ago himself. Well, Ter Stegen is actually the oldest one. He was, he was one of the first names thrown at, out there as soon as Klopp took over, and I was like, yeah, German, easy to understand, yeah, you know, but I still don't understand how he would, uh, why he would join Liverpool, unless we, I don't see Barcelona selling him. I really don't. 
unless we come to a really good agreement, you know, give them the money they want. It's probably going to be 30 to 40 million. In any event, uh, that's the goalkeepers now onto the uh, center backs. Joe Matip is the first center back heck, of uh, Schalke. A very sturdy he, uh, center back. One problem with uh, Matip is, as you can see, he's from Cameroon. So he's going to be on African Cup African uh, Cup of Nations duty during the January transfer window. So that that's the only downside to signing African players, especially during the January transfer window, because, you know, unless they're retired like Colo is, he's going to be disappearing. He will be like, oh, sign him, but oh, he, he won't be back till early February. Right, that will, that's, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Now, according to FIFA, his contract with Schalke is up at the end of the season, which... According to the internet, it's true. They are trying to assign him to a new contract. So maybe this would be one to sign up a pre-contract agreement if we are going to go for him. Him being a nice he's a, uh, addition to the club. A really good Sabra hack would be much better than Mamadou Sacco. Um, couldn't get worse than Mamadou Sacco. Oh. <laughs> oh, if we tried, and that's saying something. And so Matip would be a good shout out. Next is the first name I put on the list personally. It's America Laporte of Alec Bilbao, who, of course, you guys know I absolutely admire this guy. He is an amazing center back, sturdy as a fucking brick wall. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's going to be one of the best center backs, if not the best center back in the world in a few years. There's guaranteed. He's, he's just amazing all around and would be a really good signing. And he has a buyout clause at LA Bilbao, so it's not impossible that, that he could be signed up. up just to keep an eye on that. Uh, 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 Jürgen, oh, get on that. Sign him up. He will... Will be worth it. Hit. Next is another her player who I think we should re-sign up. 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 It's Nicholas Sewell of Hoffenheim, another German. Hmm. 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 But this isn't purely because we're managed by Jurgen Klopp and he knows the league. He so he knows. Well, I don't know if he knows Sewell. So is relatively new at Hoffenheim, being 19. You know. Coming up through our ranks, uh, or wherever the fuck he came from, he wasn't there last season for damn sure. At least he wasn't in last year's FIFA, or if he was, I just didn't take any notice of him. None of us did, to be honest. But Sewell is a really good shout. He's gonna be really good in a few years. People are tipping to be. He may be just as good as Jerome Boateng, and for Bayern Munich, and you know, get him in. And star him up, you know. Hell, you know, having guys, having Klopp managing him, having Emery Chan to help him sell into the league would really he's star him off good and and help him propel to that potential that everyone can see that he has. As and with Hoffenheim struggling in the Bundesliga, it could. It'd be he a bit easier to sign him um, than it would if they weren't struggling. So my no, it would be a shout. I would definitely go for him. Um, but I am not Jurgen Klopp. I'm just saying. I'm just looking through the he transfer targets as and giving a few suggestions of what I think we should be going for. Next next option is Martin Cherches of Juventus. This. This, this one is a bit interesting. Church says, isn't, you know, he isn't the starting center back at Juventus. He's normally beaten out by Benucci and Cellini and, um, I forget the other guy's name. Hell, he was even 
below Ogbonna, and Ogbonna was sold to West Ham, so... Oh. You know, I think if they got a good enough offer, I think Juventus would sell Churches. Is So... And it might be better for his career if he moved on to a different team. Is that team going to be Liverpool? Oh, I definitely think he's a very good center back, of course. He's Uruguayan, so, you know. Then again, the last time we had a Uruguayan center back, he didn't exactly do well, and then we ended up selling him to Sunderland, so there's that. So, Church has no option as a center back. Really needs to sign in one, if not two, center backs just to have those options. Maybe sign one, one as a starter, her intent, and one as you know a future prospect intent. Uh, next is Jensen Morello, who is killing it for Inter Milan. He is one of their, he is probably their player of the season so far. Her, uh, everywhere I, everyone I talk to about the uh, about him is saying. Nothing but good things about him. Uh, the only problem is, according to this, he only just, he's only new at Inter. So, that would, that would indicate that they'd be keen on selling him. You know, this might be a, a future window uh, option. But then again, you never know. You never know. It could be one of those things. It could be he that we get him. I, I don't know. I just... I just can't see it. I don't know why they would sell him after only just buying him. So it's 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 one to watch. Uh, some of the other options are probably more likely, especially if you who who match their bu hey, I'll clause as hint hint. <laughs> but uh, you know maybe maybe Inter her will sell. To us, I don't know. I mean, if you said to us, if you see, I still don't believe they sold it, us continue for just eight million, but apparently they did. So, Inter might be run by a bunch of idiots. So, you never know. Next is uh, Chilwell of Leicester, uh, eighteen-year-old left back. Don't really know a lot about him. I haven't seen him play for Leicester this season, so I'm assuming we're like, you know, scouting young talent as well as some senior talent. And so obviously this is a one for the future if it's going to happen. Uh, Leicester fans, you might know a bit more about this kid. Um, how good Leicester are this season if this guy... He isn't getting into their first team. He must not be as good, or he, or your Fuchs is just playing out of his skin, which he is. I mean, there's, there's no denying he is. But would this guy get into the team, him at any point, and and would it, would he, would he slot in and you wouldn't notice the difference? I don't know. I don't know a lot about him. Uh, we're being linked with him, so. He's on this list. Next is uh, Ruben Neves. And I said we were light in center of midfield. And Jurgen Klopp is listening. We're being linked with Ruben Neves. It's, it's died down a lot. You know, there was rumors back a few months ago. Oh, that we were definitely, that we were, you know, negotiating a deal with Porto and everything. And that was roughly around the time that Jurgen Klopp came in. And actually, when when I saw that, I was like, oh, maybe I should sign him up in my uh, in my Liverpool career mode, and I did. And he's fantastic. If he's anything like, if he's if he's half as good in real life as he is in FIFA, he will be amazing. He will slot straight into our team. We won't even need the rest of the players. You know, Henderson. Milner or Lucas and the rest of them, they can all sit at home and play FIFA, for <laughs> and just just know that you know midfield is covered by one 18-year-old kid, is like so 
<laughs> there's that. that. Amazing player in FIFA. Haven't seen a lot of him in real life, so I'm hoping he'll be good enough if we do sign him. him we definitely need a center defensive mid. It, it, we really only have one, maybe two, depending on where you think Chen plays. He's, he's, but that, that's just not good enough. We need a real, real strong wall of a defensive midfielder. And this kid might be the shout. Another player being linked to us is Danilo, who is currently on loan at Valencia. He is on loan from Braga, I think. Yep, yeah, Braga. So he's being linked with a move to Liverpool and a few other Premier League teams. You know, the deal would always be that he's sold to Liverpool, but he stays on loan at Valencia until the end of the season. And. I actually think it's a two-year loan. It might be a two-year loan. I he will have to look into that. But as far as I hear, or he's meant to be really good. He's already 78 rated in the, in FIFA. So I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Where did this guy come from? Hmm. Hmm. So he's he's obviously he somewhat good, and you know, very strong, very good. His, I don't have any of his uh, things because I am scouting him, him because it's just randomly started up. But you know, 19 years old, Brazil, and and if we did sign him, Lucas could, it you know, who help him sell in, you know, and Coutinho and Firmino, they they could all, you know, help him sell in. Well, when he comes back from his long, when at Valencia, like I said, the the deal is that. Apparently, if he is sold to a different team, he would stay on loan at Valencia, which, you know, is, isn't, you know, isn't a problem. Mm. Great for him to get first team football, especially with a, uh, a big team like Valencia. Uh, even if they are managed by Gary, he fucking Neville. Oh, oh, um, but yeah, good for him to get first team football if he is signed by Liverpool, so... Well, it, it's it seems to be these two. There wasn't anyone else, uh, so yeah. Oh, two really young options. Two really he, stars of the future, or that Liverpool are apparently looking at. Uh, next is uh, Sane, who's been linked with us a few times. Schalke, a uh, young hmm, white man uh, from Germany, I think. Yeah. Can play on the left or the right and or striker. So, you know, don't really know a lot about him. But he's been linked to Liverpool a few times. So, he's on the list. Uh, Gundogan. There's been a few players linked to it. Liverpool from Borussia Dortmund. And the Borussia Dortmund uh, uh, chairman has said that he wouldn't shut the door on Klopp. He'd be more than willing to do some deals with Klopp if... If the price was right. So. And. Gundogan. He's the one who's linked with us the most. We have been linked with Royce. And Lewandowski bizarrely. Because. Yeah. We so get him. him. Even. Even I'm not that fucking delusional. Oh. Oh. I. Yeah. You can just imagine Lewandowski. Oh. I think. I'm bored of. Playing for Bayern Munich. One of the best teams in the world. I'm going to go to. Liverpool. Oh. Oh, that's a real challenge. Oh, a real challenge. It's too easy to win here at Bayern. I'm out of here. Her. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> no, that's that that would not happen unless we get until we get into the Champions League. I don't think think we're going to be signing anyone in the quite quality of Lewandowski. In fact, uh, Gundogan is probably the biggest name player here, say for maybe he who I've picked. As a possible striker target. And you'll see that in just a second. But you know. if It seems like. If there is anyone who is going to move from Dortmund to Liverpool. It seems like it's going to be Gundogan. It seems like he is the. Number one target. Because he is mentioned more than. Royce. Lewandowski. Even Hummels. So. who are, None of those players are on this list. It's like you saw the center backs. Hummels is not there. Royce is not, uh, uh, 
on this list, and Nair Zemdowski. So, Guns of Gun, he was mentioned the most, so I said I'd only put one Dortmund player on the list, and Guns of Gun is mentioned, he's mentioned multiple times, like, like, you'd hear the odd mention of Royce, and Hummels has been mentioned once, and then Dosky's been mentioned once, but Gundogan, like I said, has been mentioned more than them all. So, if there is going to be one, it appears it'll be Gundogan. And here is a blast from the past to remember this guy, Amati. Every he FIFA 14 players suddenly he rubbing their eyes and saying, no, FIFA 15 players probably rubbing their eyes saying, Holy shit, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's still around. Uh, even I had forgotten mm, this guy. He, he amazing young player in FIFA 15. And I was like, I was just looking at the rumors. And then I saw Liverpool linked with Copenhagen mm, defensive player. I'm like, who the hell was that? I saw Daniel Amati. That popped into my head who it was. I was like, no fucking way. But yeah, apparently, we're linked with the FIFA 15 legend. He is amazing on FIFA 15. I haven't tried him out on FIFA 16, but you can bet I will now. Oh, bit of a blast from the past. Daniel Amati. He, he is down as a center mid, but he can play center back. We have the same problem with um as as a uh, Matip. He's also from a uh, an African mish uh, nation in Ghana, so he'd also be on African Cup in the he, But if we're gonna sign him, I don't even care. <laughs> or if he's half as good as, in real life as he is on FIFA uh, 15, and he would be amazing. And, Everyone used this guy on FIFA 15. He was by far one of the most popular choices. Is I he absolutely enjoy using him, him like nobody's business. And it he he was just so oh solid. It where you played him or in midfield or in defense, he was solid in both parts of the pitch. It, and would be amazing signing in real life. This is another more recent one. Philip Kostik of Stuttgart. I'm not going to pretend that I know anything about this guy. Or I've seen him at all. Never even heard of him until the name was mentioned. I was like, who? <laughs> I was like, does that guy even exist? Apparently, yes, he does. He's Serbian. So he'd be the same nationality as the uh, other guy. We're meant to be getting that sermon I mentioned earlier. Um, if we're being linked with him, maybe he's good. I mean, we were supposed a few seasons ago. We were supposed to get a guy named Kanaplayanka. Yeah, doesn't that seem like a bad idea now that we didn't fucking get him? Thank you very much, Brendan Rodgers. You even after you've left, you still screwing us by. The... By not signing that guy. Next is Hakan Chanalogu. I was not expecting this guy's name to come up. I mean, a cam? I mean, center attacking mid is probably the last place Liverpool need to strengthen. But apparently, he's been linked with us. You know, decent player. Her, her amazing talent, and everyone knows. This guy's skill on a free on free kicks. It's, I was I was I was like, wait, what? Did I read that right? Hakan Chanalogu. Apparently, he's been linked with Liverpool. I, I mean, I wouldn't say no to him. An amazing player, or could definitely is definitely gonna be a great talent. And one day, hey, whether the Leverkusen can hold on to him or not is will remain to be will. Remains to be seen. But, you know, if we saw him, hell yeah. Why not? Fucking brilliant player. Er, and is deadly. He, with the ball at his feet. <laughs> Next is James Madsen. 
because reasons we're being linked with some random guy from Coventry. I've never even heard of him, but apparently he's a young starlet. Um, any Coventry fans, can you tell me a bit about this guy in the comment section below? Oh, because that'd be fantastic. Um, it doesn't look that particularly, uh, particularly interesting. Uh, maybe he's good, I don't know. I don't know who he is. And anyway, uh, moving on to someone I do know a bit about is Sergio Berahino. Someone who is very close to joining Spurs in the summer window. It looks like they have some competition for him again. And and it, we were linked with him in the summer window, but it was only really Spurs who seemed to really go for him. He they didn't get him. Him and then he sort of true tantrum when he didn't get his move. So um, this one is, was a bit interesting. He, he hasn't really, uh, you know, he's sort of settled down. He's not really, I don't know if he's still looking to move away. Yeah, I guess we'll see, you know. Um, logic would dictate that he's probably not going to be at West Brom at the, at the end of his career. He's probably going to move on eventually. Will it be Liverpool? You know, decent striker, gets a few goals every now and again. Would be much better suited to Liverpool to, than Christian Benteke. And his pace and his his technique on the ball oh, 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 will be much, much better. Er, er, er. But that's not who I'd pick. My pick... Is who is under him. Now this one is going to be a bit controversial. Everyone was after this guy. About this time last year. Because he was banging in goals. He was killing it. But now his form has dripped off. His team's form has dripped off. And now no one is seemingly being linked with him. Well a link with him again. And Liverpool oh wait. Alexander Lacazette. Yeah, remember this guy? He scores goals for fun when he's in form. And right now, he's struggling a bit. Leon are struggling a bit. It, so his form is down. And so his value would be down. And, and now it's time to swoop in, get him up, get him into the starting lineup, up, and, and watch him plow away in goals and watch us ascend up the goddamn table. Oh, this would be the perfect striker. I wouldn't say no to Berahino if he's going to score a lot of goals, which I wouldn't doubt he would. But Alexander Lacazette, we all know this guy is a clinical finisher and is deadly on the ball. Or can be any goalkeeper. Or, or any goalkeeper. Or, or from a record breaker like Czech to the best in the world like Neuer. Or I could see Lacazette is gonna be is already a really good striker or his form is dipping hang, hang. it's gonna get better so if if we sign him now while his form is down if we get his form back up boom fucking profit he gets us a lot of goals we get back into Europe and before you know it Liverpool are the dominant force that we deserve to be and that we are Always have been, and we just lost that a touch. We just, just need to get that touch back, and he is that touch. So, those have been the transfer or targets. It's, it's, who do you think Liverpool will sign? What will your team be doing in the January transfer window? Oh, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button and comment in the comment section below what you think on these. He's 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 particular her rumors. Hers, hers. If you want me to do your team, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Oh, and I'll look into their transfers and do a video for them. Until next time, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in 2016. Happy New Year. Peace.